should I transfer them over to the client? All right, I'm paraphrasing this question because it was a bit longer, but that's essentially the essence. All right, so there are a couple uh, roles for me anyway. I don't know that this is a universal thing. I think it's predicated a bit on your preferences, but it depends on the type of clients that you're working with. So in our case, uh, the folks that I'm generally targeting are, again, mental health professionals, therapists, authors, etc. And essentially, the pages are very uh, short, they're compact, and there are analogs or alternatives to something like Link uh, in Bio or Linktree or About Me sort of, sorts of pages. And essentially, what you find is people generally uh, don't want any you know, kind of modifications or upkeep, they just kind of set it and forget it. And it's sort of uh, not, there's no upkeep required, right? So even if you think somebody's going to want to make a lot of changes to their card website that you built for them over the course of a year, invariably, what you find out is they really don't. They are happy with it. It's simple. It does the trick. And occasionally you'll get you know, uh, folks will want to change a link or want to add something or maybe change, uh, you know, a, a featured resource if you're, uh, you know, including like products or, or things like that on a landing page uh, for a card client. Uh, but like a book, for an example, or, you know, a, a link to something that's external to the site itself, right? But if you're doing work for, uh, you know, folks who sell like Gumroad products or MVP launches, or a little bit more kind of online digital e-commerce savvy, those kinds of folks, I would recommend transferring the this site to them. I don't do a lot of this. I have done a couple of these through our, uh, you know, our community. I, I, I didn't design them, but someone else uh, on our side did. And those can be a pain in the ass because people will, you know, like constantly get it in their heads that they should be doing A and B testing. They should be changing, you know, headlines. And you end up, people get bad ideas bouncing around in their head. And those are actually not bad ideas, but they get bad ideas in their head from the standpoint of, if you're serving those clients and you're essentially a slave at that point to doing lots of, you know, updates that are, you know, kind of out of the scope of what you originally wanted to do. I find that when you're hosting those sites yourself, uh, that's more of a problem. If they're hosting the sites and, you know, you've transferred them over and you're clear about the terms, which is essentially once, you know, you have this, we're happy to help, but essentially you're on your own. It's very easy. Here's how to, you know, uh, make edits, et cetera. And I always would recommend doing like a, a, a video, uh, you know, kind of overview, much like the, the hundreds that I've done on the YouTube channel that you're probably uh, listening to this on, you know, you can see that it's very easy to edit. And then essentially the folks are kind of, you know, they can change the text and their headline on their product for Gumroad if they so choose, but you're not constantly being pinged and asked to do essentially, you know, menial kind of uh, work. And of course you can, uh, you know, if that's really your your gig and you want to do a lot of that, certainly that's, you know, good continuity offer where you're helping them make it. I, I just hate that sort of work. And I don't even like, you know, kind of outsourcing that to other folks in my orbit because it's a pain in the ass and people can be a little bit of a pain in the ass if you allow that to happen. So again, if it's somebody who's selling a product or series of products and you think they're going to be testing a lot of iterations of their card site, then you kind of want to build it for them and then record a walkthrough and then transfer it over uh, to them. If you're essentially working with clients or an audience or a community that wants like very simple card sites, and that's my preference, um, you know, like link in bio, link tree alternative sort of sites where the only additions or revisions are going to be things like, you know, a new link or a removal of a link or something like that, then I think it's best to actually kind of take the reins and actually control that or host that site for them because you can actually, 
make that part of the irresistible offer, that there's nothing else involved for them to do other than you build it, you'll host it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's similar to like building something on WordPress for a client and you have uh, managed hosting and they don't. So you're actually, there's a continuity uh, piece that's there that's implied by dint of the hosting that you're offering them. You don't even have to charge them for hosting. I wouldn't because I don't think it's ethical when you're not really paying, you know, for hosting on card yourself. The other thing that you can get into, I mean, it's part of the of the platform. Uh, the other thing that you can get into a little bit is, uh, you know, DNS issues when you're hosting site, when you're actually you know, your when your container card container is actually the 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 holding portal for all of your client sites, uh, you can get into some like DNS issues where you have to actually ask you know clients to give you you know information about you know domains and things like that. There are, I mean, there are issues like that that are resolved by you know letting folks actually handle it themselves. Someone else asked, and I'll do a, a quick audio on this as well about the affiliate. Uh, commissions that you would get by dint of transferring a site to someone else, because then they have to actually have a card uh, account. And they also then have to have the level of card account that the site that you built uh, matches. So if you build features that are pro, uh, you know, features for card, and your client is on the, you know, basic plan or whatever, they don't, they can't actually use the site that you built them until they upgrade. So then there's this potentially unexpected charge that folks may end up um, being vulnerable to. And it's not much, but who wants to be told later that, you know, or who wants to actually even be told at all that there's an additional charge? Like you kind of want to productize the whole thing. So it's under one sort of rubric, right? So you're, it's all inclusive, more or less. Um, and the other thing is with respect to the affiliate commissions, they're not much. So it's not really, to me, a you know, viable reason to want your clients to actually take on a card uh, account themselves and upgrade to Pro Plus. I mean, or Pro.